Welcome back to week six of Mars VR. I am ecstatic to announce that we have reached our major goal of $100,000. That means we will be able to deliver our promise to you of letting you walk on Mars. What's more is that we still have two weeks left. So where do we want to take those two weeks and what do we hope to achieve? We now have some bigger goals to expand on our offerings, particularly in the realm of education and experiences for museums that everybody can explore and experience. With that being said, it brings us on to the mission of today. I'd like you to hear from the voices who are driving us, who impassion us to build this experience. They are kids at school, they are teachers, people who've worked on the Perseverance rover, and even from an astronaut herself. When I tried Oculus International Space Station experience, it, it was incredible. I even had a little bit of the motion sickness, and then that was so real. Of course, I'm not floating <laughs> and I cannot feel the zero gravity, but interior and then all the kind of structure, much better than the hardware mock-up during my training. So, of course, we need a hardware mock-up to touch and to gear, but I think it can be the hybrid between the VLs and real hardware. It would be wonderful. So, when I check that VR things nowadays, I thought it would have a huge potential to training, not only astronaut, but also future space tourists. Uh, well, I recently just experienced VR for the first time. So, uh, using VR to explore part of Martian terrain seems like the coolest thing I've ever heard of <laughs> because I played Beat Saber and I was already blown out of this world and I cannot imagine what it would possibly be like to walk on a different planet while being in my living room. I don't think that kids learn enough about space in school. And it's unfortunate because it's really something that gives you, I think, a broad perspective, literally, but also sort of metaphysically, that you understand where you are in this journey by understanding where we are physically in this broader system. And I really think that for kids to be able to have a VR experience is such a unique, powerful opportunity to really be somewhere you're not. I think that this is the beginning of what will be the delivery channel for education and for training and a lot of different experiences in the future. If I could drive a car around Mars, I would probably look for stuff on the ground and maybe like try to find some things like living animals or like plants or like something like that, things that could make um, Mars like livable for humans. Our next goal with Mars VR is to create a one-of-a-kind modular experience that can be used in schools and museums and can educate the general public about space, science, virtual reality, and technology. Imagine that the first humans have landed on Mars and they send out rovers and drones to explore their landing site. All the footage and data that they collect would be sent back to Earth and could be put into a virtual reality environment that the general public can use to also explore the landing site along with the astronauts. They could then find something interesting, vote on it, and that information would be sent back to the astronauts to go explore that site for real. We call that synergy of the astronauts on Mars and the general public using virtual reality back on Earth, crowd exploring. Mars is important because it's the one terrestrial planet we can actually go to eventually and step foot on beside just Earth. As of now, Mercury and Venus are almost they're, they're just, you can't really step on them at the moment just because they're inhabitable and it's really difficult to get the technology to get that and that's something really special about Mars. We, can ha we do have the technology to actually be there. Yeah, every single moment when I was in International Space Station, 
Every single moment I really want to share with the people who is watching me, especially the Korean people, because at the time I was the first Korean astronaut. And even now, I'm the only astronaut who have been in space among the whole Korean people. So I really want that uh, technology to share with the uh, people who is interested in space based on my experience. And I really want that technology also because realistically, I don't think I will be the person who step on the Mars. So hopefully I can be a good friend of the Mars astronaut and then make them have that technology and share with me and then I can feel the, how they feel on the Mars and I really want to feel as it is. So yeah, that technology, if we can have that will be incredible. If I could go to Mars tomorrow, then I'd be super um, happy because I love Mars so much and it's actually very interesting and it's a very interesting planet. What I teach them about Mars is like you can, like if you jump, you'll go um, three times um, higher than you jump normally. And like there's water on Mars. If students are, be, are able to, you know, have access to, you know, virtual reality um, experiences that really lets them interact with Mars or even a Mars simulated environment here on Earth. I just think that's really game changing. Um, and so to be able to like expose kids um, that wouldn't otherwise get to interact with something like Mars or an engineer, or even like know that that's an option as a career or something to do, I think can really um, uh, just change the trajectory of a lot of kids' lives, right? And like we can do that with technology now that we maybe couldn't do 50 years ago. Um, so I'm really excited about about that possibility to just get more kids um, involved and interested and in getting to, to experience um, uh, Mars and Mars related things. Um, I mean, I wanna experience it. <laughs> I wanna see what it's like to walk around on Mars. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, so to bring that into the classroom, you know, via virtual reality would just um, be such a game changer. It would make uh, the classroom's such an exciting place, get kids really interested and engaged and passionate about um, not just Mars, obviously, but just like kind of STEM in general. The combination of mixed reality and Mars VR allows us to create digital dreams. We often say that VR artists are storytellers. We'd like to bring things that are impossible in our real world to your fingertips, to your eyes, and to your minds. Mars VI encapsulates all of those things, as well as gamifying the science to give everybody on this planet a chance to explore the red planet like they would never normally be able to do. Thank you for those inspirational words from our interviewees. And from everybody at Mars VR, we'd like to offer our gratitude to everyone who has joined us on our mission to Mars. With that being said, we have just two weeks remaining in our campaign and the main feedback we've heard is that you'd like a version of Mars VR to work on the Oculus Quest. That's not an easy feat but it's something that's achievable. So we now have a stretch goal of $50,000 to ensure that we can dedicate a team to making that a reality. With that being said, I'd like to end with a quote from a famous Martian pirate. Let's science the out of this. And remember, learn the science and live the journey and we'll, and we'll see, see you, you on, on Mars. Mars.